set. And they're off. A slightly awkward start there from Aragon Castle coming out of store number 12. Didn't lose a, a massive amount of ground. But it's the Coral Kinskin handicap, a £100,000 class two over the mile and the quarter. But he only in the white and red is prominent early on together with Watcher Matey. And overtaking them to the outside is Sisyphe in the yellow with the black spot. Sisyphe moved into the lead now under Tommy's from Brioni and Watcher Matey. Toward the running rail then came Midnight Gun. Another length and a half then back to into battle in the purple and pink silks. More towards the inside is Palace Green. Between those then is Approval. Then came Aragon Castle. He's still towards the rear of the field. Together with Sun, he went to post early. Red and green silks. And in white and green, Mortlake under Ross Ryan are the back markers. A climb over on the far side then. Sisyphean with a two-length advantage at this point as they head towards the final five furlongs. From racing in second, Brioni. Watch him 80 back in third. In fourth place is the grade Midnight Gun. Then came Approval and Palace Green. Followed by Inter Battle and Sun. Then Aragon Castle and Mortlake remains at the rear of the field. On this shoot then that takes them towards the main straight proper shortly. Sisyphe and out in front. Joined to the outside in white and red by Brioni. Behind that one is Watch him 80 in third. Then came Midnight Gun in fourth. Two lengths away to Approval in fifth. Then Palace Green and Sun is still some way back through them at the cutaway point, which is about three and a half furlongs from home today. They continue now inside the final three. Sisyphean pushed along in front. The grey midnight gun looms up toward the running rail. Brioni is still there. Then came Watcham 80. Aragon Castle ridden for more. Approval trying to come into it in the two shades of blue. Racing now down towards the final furlong and a half. And it's midnight gun with the lead from Sisyphean and Brioni. Approval trying to make that run between horses. Aragon Castle coming into it wider out inside the final half. Midnight gun now taken on by Approval against the running rail. Brioni over the top of them. They come to the line, a bunch up, approval on the inside, approval. Here we go. And they're off, racing away for the Mark L. Richmond stakes a group two level over six furlongs. And Billboard Star is the first one to show in the journey. Leading from the nose-banded Tropical Storm and out wider on the course in the pink cap is King of Bears. They're racing on then for the striking Viking, who's together with Big Cyril in those white and red colours. Apparatio's next in white and red behind those. And then two lengths back to Black Forza and the Aquamarine of the Waco Kid intrusively is at the rear of the field. They'll soon be up to halfway. And it's Tropical Storm and Ashim Murphy who lead narrowly. From in second place in King of Bears. Close up behind his billboard star. Then the striking Viking in fourth now toward the left-hand side from Big Cyril. And then came Apparagio. Ridden for more is the Waco Kid. Black Force are further back intrusively. Last of all, on towards the final furlong and a half. Tropical Storm shaken up in front. Joined to the left-hand side by the striking Viking. Then billboard star and the trying to rally King of Bears. Black Force is getting going as well. Inside the final half, it's the striking Viking from Billboard Star. Black Forza, though, really staying on strongly. Black Forza going to get up and win the Richmond. Black Forza. And they're off. Runners sent on their way. At the £200,000 Group 3, John Pierce Racing, Gordon Stakes, over the mile and a half. And in the very early stages, Jan Bruegel pokes his nose in front to lead on the climb towards Oak Tree Corner. From between horses, Bellum Justin. And the blue and white phone is King Power. A little wider out then in the yellow is Maidan under Tom Marquan. Now filling out second place and in fact moving three to lead. So a change of ownership of the lead now with Maidan going on as they race right-handed. About a couple of lengths on Gan Bruegel. And Bell and Justin back in third and Sedati Sedati anchored at the back of the field. Right over on the far side of the track then. It's Maidan. It was fourth in the Queen's Vase last time out. Shows the way under Tom Marquan. From in second, Jan Bruegel, probably about four lengths behind the leader now. Jan Bruegel unbeaten so far in a couple of runs. Coming into the Gordon Stakes this afternoon as a warm order favourite to maintain his unbeaten record. Run right about seven to one for the St. Ledger before they jumped off for the Gordon here this afternoon. Further couple of lengths back to Bell and Justin. He was seventh in the Derby a couple of runs ago before his excellent third in the Hampton Court the last time. Sedati Sedati fifth in the derby when last seen remains the back marker and the field have got well stretched out Tom Marquand has got about five or six lengths clear now on Maidan Jan Bruegel in second place as they begin to descend the hill about a further three lengths away to Bell and Justin is back in third and no move yet from Sedati Sedati as they take this straight towards the main home run 
is Maidan by T Lang Chian Bruegel, just being kept up to his work by Ryan Moore. They're just pushing along to try and keep tabs here with Maidan at this stage as they race now towards the final three and a half furlongs. Maidan in the yellow, still just about being held together. Jan Bruegel being pushed along in second. Bell and Justin has also been squeezed along back in third. Sedati Sedati beginning to come up with his effort now just in behind them. As they race on towards the final quarter of a mile, Jan Bruegel sticking on in there. Now Maidan is under pressure for the first time. Bell and Justin ridden for more. Here comes Sedati to Sedati between them as they race inside the final furlong and a half. Bell and Justin to the outside of Jan Bruegel between them Sedati Sedati Maidan now drops away inside the last and on the outside Bell and Justin puts it up here to Jan Bruegel who's battling away all the way to the line Jan Bruegel and Bell and Justin Jan Bruegel just in front and to remain unbeaten Jan Bruegel has won the Golden States and they're off racing away for the group one Qatar Nassau stakes are over the mile and a quarter and Opera Singer breaking out well towards the outside would lead them through the end of the opening furlong. Chased wider out by Lumiere Rock in the yellow and red. More towards the inside in yellow and black is El Malka, who is together with Lady Boba in the black and white colours. Uh, just in advance to see the fire. Lady Boba quite keen to stay in front of El Malka and see the fire at the moment. And then Emily Upjohn wider in the pink silks. Followed by Stay Alert in the blue and yellow. Doha is further behind and sparkling plenty is the back marker as they begin to climb over on the far side inside the final seven furlongs. It is Opera Singer with about a half a length lead at the moment. Showing in front from in second Lumiere Rock. Then came El Malka who's back in third, followed a neck away to Lady Boba in fourth, and then stay alert, see the fire to her outside. Emily up John Doha and sparkling plenty remain at the rear of the field. Taking the right-handed corner then, as they make their way up the home straight shortly towards the final four furlongs. Out in front, Opera Singer from Lumiere Rock in second. Two lengths away, El Malka is in third. Lady Boba's in fourth, then stay alert ahead of See the Fire. Doha still some way back through the field, together with Sparkling Plenty. He's now asked to get a bit closer. Emily Upjohn also right towards the rear. Uh, heading towards the final three furlongs now. Opera Singer and Ryan Morley by length. Over Lumiere Rock in second. El Marco ridden along in third. Then came See the Fire, followed by Stay Alert. Emily Upjohn trying to start her run. Sparkling Plenty is hard ridden. Running inside the final furlong and a half. And it's still Opera Singer. Opera Singer leading with the noseband. See the Fire begins to give chase. El Malka next. Sparkling Plenty finishing off strongly down the outside under Christian de Muro. Opera Singer from See the Fire. Sparkling Plenty still running on. But it's Opera Singer who's out in front from See the Fire. Opera Singer's won the Nassau Stakes. All in. And they're off. Racing away over seven furlongs in the Jean-Jean Lacoutre Nursery Handicap Stakes. Kanichiwa the Grey was pretty speedy from those starting stalls. Leading early from substituting King of Angels and very wide on the track is Brighton Boy in the red jacket. More towards the inside is Jetpacker and Fearless Freddy. Then came original Outlaw, followed closely by El Burhan in the blue and the white. And then came Glitter Code, followed by Gold Medalist and Mr Chap in the red and white. Further behind to Jukes of Hartha, then Cracking Man. Fred on fire is second to last. The back marker was Vaidari, who came from the widest of all stall. They're about to race inside the final half a mile. In the orange, it is King of Angels who's now come through to leave. Frank Kenichiwa, an original outlaw. Jack Packer to the inside at the cutaway in fourth. Then substitute El Burhan and Sunshine State in the violet silks. Glitter coat on the inside, the white jacket. Then Fearless Freddy in red with the black spots from gold medalist. Then Mr. Chaplin. Brighton Boy still some way back, trying to make a run from a long way back as Dukes of Hartha. But as they head inside the final quarter mile, it's original outlaw who's now come through to lead from King of Angels. And then came substitute and El Burhan down the outside. Sunshine State now coming right into this inside the final furlong. It's original outlaw with the lead of a couple of lengths. El Burhan is giving chase then fearless Freddy Mr Chapman from a good way back is thundering home as well original outlaw from Mr Chapman who's gonna get close it's very close Mr Chaplin set to race and they're off away they go for the five furlong starting point for the Bucciolati handicap stakes Prominent down the centre is We Never Stop in the green and pink with Toka Madeira. Over toward the left-hand side is McLovin. McLovin, Toka Madeira. And then came Kiss and Rhyme with We Never Stop. 
in the front group as well is Grand Lad. Behind Grand Lad is Got to Love a Grey. Behind Got to Love a Grey is Noel Fox in the blue and white. Then came Enchanting Chagran. Behind that little group of runners that is Dorney Lake away to the left hand side of the tongue lolling. Chief Mancato trying to move up into it. Hard ridden is Kendall Roy. They're well through halfway. In fact, inside the final quarter now, Toka Madeira together with McLovin up top. Then Gotta Love a Grey. Chagran with the noseband over toward the left hand side with Enchanting. Then Noel Fox trying to battle back his Grand Lad. Then Dorney Lake are inside the last now. Toka Madeira racing with McLovin. Gotta Love a Grey and Chagran. These four to battle it out. Chagran over on the far side coming home a bit better. And Chagran will win it. Chagran from Gotta Love a Grey, Toka Madeira. Ready to go. And they're off. A little bit slow to find stride there was Arabian Leopard from stall 11 as they break for the Tatler British EBF Maiden Philly Stakes over to seven furlongs. Buffy owed one of those with the previous experience is handy early on in green and blue. Chased away from French Haven in the yellow silks and then tap dancer followed closely by Dreamy the white cap in fourth then the red and green for Bella Sonata. Gaia is next in the orange and blue then toward the inside Sophia the first. Tundra Rose is with her an Arabian Leopard much further back to see Mythical Bird and the back mark on the swing for home is Romantic Spirit. They're heading towards the final half a mile. Bouvier leads the way under Kieran Schumacher and shows in front a length or so to French Haven in second with Tap Tanta back to the inside in third at the cutaway point. Dreamy still handily placed there in fourth. Then came Bella Sinatra in the red silks, followed out wider by Gaia. Tundra Rose having to switch there to go wider still, trying to make up ground on the inside is Mythical Bird. On they go towards the final quarter of a mile. Bouvier continues to show the way from the ridden along French Haven. Dreamy trying to get organised and then Tap Dancer. Mythical Bird short of racing room on the inside. Tundra Rose is running on strongly, so too Arabian Leopard. But it's still Bouvier who will lead them inside the final furlong. Bouvier by a couple of lengths. Then came Dreamy, Arabian Leopard and Tundra Rose all trying hard behind. Bouvier gained the out in front. Dreamy launching over the top. Dreamy's going to get there. Winning Davy for Dreamy. And they're off. Racing out over a mile. A slow and awkward start from Native King from stall number 12 for the Hong Kong Jockey Club World Paul Handicap Stakes. Very well into stride was the Ice Phoenix right up there as well as Westridge in the yellow. Not far behind is Spanish Blaze. They're followed by Great Chieftain and Bills Barca Gabriel and Diligent Rezdev. More towards the inside is Golden Pharaoh. Then with the noseband on the cream sleeves is Jungle Mac. Just ahead of Treasure Time. Further back through the field to EBT's guard in the blue and red silks. Rockstar Icon against the running rail. Apirist is towards the back of the field and the slow to stride. Native King is the overall trailer. Four and a half furlongs to go and nearly a three-way go for the lead. Racing towards the inside is Jungle Mac. Westridge between them, the Ice Phoenix a bit wider out. And Spanish Blaze and the Golden Pharaoh from Rockstar Icon and EBT's guard. And then came Sir Gabriel the Grey, followed wider out by Great Chieftain, even wider still by Apiarist in that beige jacket. And then the black and red of Diligent Rezdev through the cutaway point and on towards the final three furlongs. Jungle Mac with the pink and the light blue, the Ice Phoenix challenging right in behind here in the pink and green silks. Great Chieftain begins his effort very wide on the track and the beige of the noseband is Apiarist as they race towards the final furlong and a half. Great Chieftain has now come through to lead from Spanish Blaze. Then came Jungle Mac and Apiris and the Ice Phoenix. Behind those EBT's guard has now started to run at them. Inside the final furlong, Great Chieftain and Spanish Blaze and Apiris. And the running on EBT's guard. Inside the final 50 yards, it's Great Chieftain. Great Chieftain's going to win it. Great Chieftain from EBT's guard.